Russia has 1,185 intercontinental ballistic missiles on alert. They are set up in an automatic triggering system, and each missile has programmed flight paths and target options. Today we're going to find out which cities and military targets are prioritized in the Russian missiles. And at the end, I'll show you a computer simulation of a Russian nuclear attack, and how many casualties it would cause. The Kremlin has high hopes for the Poseidon unmanned underwater vehicle. It is capable of detonating a bomb at great depths and triggering a tsunami that would destroy the U.S. coastline. These targets are programmed because it will allow it to partially destroy the U.S. fleet. Thus, the most dangerous places to be in the event of a nuclear war are in America's coastal areas. In the U.S., cities will be destroyed such as San Diego, Bluffdale, Albuquerque, Los Alamos, New York. Russia is considering striking large populated cities, not so much to sow panic, but to destroy the political economic system. Some of the cities have military bases. Of course, the Pentagon will be first on the list, in addition to White Sands, San Antonio, Houston, Fort Hood, Pantex, Memphis, Omaha, Minot, Malmstrom, Tampa, Mayport, Kings Bay, Camp David, Camp Perry. Some of the sites will be hit not with one or two missiles, but with a series of nuclear missiles. A large number of targets are in Europe, for example, London. According to the Russian leadership, it is one of the main decision-making centers. The missiles are aimed at Brussels, Aviano, Vicenza, Suda Bay in Greece, Rota, U.S. base in Spain, Moron, Gibraltar, Menwith Hill, Mildenhall. The main targets memorized by nuclear missiles are U.S. military bases, which will lead to the fact that civilians living nearby will suffer and the radioactive cloud will spread throughout Europe. Let's now turn on simulation mode and see what happens if Russia launches nuclear missiles. of direct destruction and radioactive burns. The estimated death toll will be about 93 million people and about 105 million injured. After the major devastation has occurred, the second equally terrifying phase, radioactive fallout, will begin. Radiation will spread over a wide area, affecting people, animals, and the environment. The estimated death toll of this stage is about 42 million people. This was a 3D visualizer channel. Subscribe if you want to see more simulations and let our planet live in peace and love.